Hey guys, what's up? We are back with another video today, and today I'm doing my Virginia 2020 NCAA prediction. So as always, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. I am three subscribers away from 75 subscribers. It has been such a fantastic journey. Uh, once I hit uh, 75 subscribers, I'll be doing two viewer-suggested videos, so make sure that you are subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Put the suggestions down in the comment section down below. If you enjoy the video, like it. Um, just so you know, I will be having all Power 5 conferences, if you don't know what the conferences are, ACC, Big 10, Big 12, Pac-12, SEC, some of the independents and BYU, Liberty, Notre Dame, and Army, uh, some of the g better group of five teams like Cincinnati, Memphis, U UCF, Boise State, um, UAB, and App State, I will be having all those, and if you um, have a certain team that you want me to do, um, I'm going to do some FCS stuff, um, a certain team and a group of five or FBS, um, I'm sure, surely can do that. Um, I should have a little bit of extra time, so make sure you put that down in the comment section down below. So let's get started. Virginia start, um, so quickly I want to go over their key losses and key returning starters. Um, it, first, I want to start with our key losses. They have a lot of key losses, especially at the quarterback position and on the offensive side of the ball. Um, they lose Bryce Perkins, their uh, quarterback slash running back. Um, he was one of the better dual threat quarterbacks in all of NCAA football. So with him, losing him will be a major loss this season. Um, then you also lose Hassin uh, Dubai. Dubai. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm saying him wrong or butchering that name. He is a wide receiver. Um, he will be missed. He is their top wide receiver. Um, so I think that that will be a massive loss there. Then they lose their best defensive players. And Mac Jordan at linebacker and uh, Bryce Hall at defensive back. They had Bryce Hall gone for almost the entire season last year, so that isn't a big loss. But at the same time, he was a very, very good player, um, so he is going to be a loss. And then Mac Jordan, I think, was their top tackler also. They have a, do they do have a lot of key returners, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Um, on the offensive offensive side of the ball, you have your top running back Wayne. Uh, I'm going to try this name. Tua Papa running back um, and Jana Tar Terrell on the wide receiver. Then you have um, on the defensive side, you have Joey Blount and Noah Taylor, linebacker and uh, free safety individually. Um, uh, quickly, their commitments, 0 5 stars, 2 4 stars, and 14 3 stars. Um, the rank of the returning percentage-wise, so percentage of returning production this stat is done by ESPN so um, they have an article if you want to look that up uh, they are 95th on offense 15 on defense to make that 56 overall um, and now that we finished all that up let's get right into it last year Virginia finished nine and five with an ACC championship appearance or an ACC killing appearance um, against Clemson 17 to 62 um, and an Orange Bowl appearance uh, with a loss to Florida 28 to 36. They start their season off with a neutral site game. I'm pretty sure in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, so it's not really in a neutral site game uh, when you're playing the Georgia Bulldogs. But at the same time, or wait, I could be wrong. It could be a different neutral site game. Uh, because, yeah, I'm sorry. It's a neutral site game. I'm not sure where it is at the moment, but um, I think that they'll lose this game. They have a lot of losses, especially the quarterback and uh, position and on the offense, losing their top wide receiver and stuff like that. So I think that you lose this game just because Georgia is one of the better teams in all of FBS football and even one of the better teams in the SEC, which is probably the best conference. Um, VMI, um, Virginia Military School, they'll beat them easily. They're not a very good football program. Uh, UConn, the newest independent uh, school in football, uh, they'll beat them pretty easily. UConn is not a very good team. Uh, so they will start the year off 2-1, and one, but then this is where the schedule gets pretty tough. You have an away game against Clemson. You'll get killed there. You lost to them um, in the ACC championship game. You got murdered by them. Um, I think the game will be a little bit closer this time, but at the same time, a uh, little bit co closer score-wise, but it won't be close enough for Virginia to be able to do anything. Home game against North Carolina. North Carolina was a lot better this year. They played North Carolina last year and beat them by seven at North Carolina. So this may be a pretty close game, but I think Sam Howell and Daz Newsom will be able to have a really good year. Um, 
on that side of the battle. Uh, then you have a bye week, and then you play at Georgia Tech. Last year, you played Georgia Tech at home, beat them 33-28. And I think that with Georgia Tech improving, having a lot of good recruits coming in and changing from the triple option to the um, West Coast t- style system, um, I would not be surprised if Georgia Tech has a really um, a much improved team offensively. Um, so I think that the uh, Georgia Tech will win that game. I think that Virginia loses a- another game. Then they have an away game against Old Dominion. I would not be surprised if this game is a little bit closer than it should be. Last year they played Old Dominion at home, beat them 28 to 17, but also they struggle. Uh, Virginia struggled a lot more in the early uh, part of the year with Florida State only beating them by seven, beating Old Dominion by 11, uh, losing to Miami by six. So you had a lot of games where you struggled in early. Um, then you have a home game against Miami. I think Miami is a lot better team. You played at Miami last year when um, Virginia was the better team talent-wise, and you lost to them by six points. So I think even though this is a home game for Virginia, I think that they'll lose that game there. Home game against Louisville. Last year you played at Louisville 21-28. You lost that game again. Even though this game again is at home, um, I think that they'll lose this game with so much talent coming back for Louisville other than the key loss to Mikel Becton and some of the players on the defense. Um, you should have a good year there. Um, then you have an away game against Duke. I think that you'll win that game there. Last year you played a home game against Duke. is 48-14. Uh, Duke lost a lot of its talent too. So I think that uh, Virginia will be able to win that game there, um, especially with it being later in the season. They have a home game against Pitt to make that uh, their fifth win of the season. I think that they'll win that game there. Uh, they played at Pitt last year, beat them 30-14, to so I would not be surprised um, if you do see a close game here. But at the same time, I think that Pitt um, is not as good as Virginia talent-wise in particular. Um, then you have an away game against Virginia Tech to clinch a bowl record of 6-6. Six and six. But I think that you lose this game here, making the final... Um, final uh, record five and seven um, you played uh, Virginia Tech last year you lost to the you beat them 39 30 but I think with this game being at Virginia Tech and Virginia Tech having a little bit more talent I think that you lose that game and I think you go from a nine and five team to a five and seven team with so much loss of talent on the offensive side of the ball it's going to be really hard to replace the type of production that Bryce Perkins had on that offense so as always, make sure you hit the two videos down below. Uh, one of them will be the predictions, and one of them will be a video that is best suited for you. Um, and hit the subscribe button up here. As always, have a great day. Bye.